I don't know, where be to today by you ask? Well, I'm in South Devon and I've come down somewhere where I haven't been for about 25 years, I'll be honest. Um, so, I'm going to turn the camera around and see if you can guess where I'm to and I'll tell you where I am in a minute. Directly they say, nah, more directly than directly. So there we are folks. Okay, there's a little gappy bit of water down through there and that's looking back up the lane. Some of you will know instantly where I am and some will be guessing a little bit, but there's a little bit of surf out there. Yeah folks, I'm down in the South Hams and I am at Wannell Beach at the minute, which is across the river from Mothercombe, yeah. Let's get down on that beach and have a look. I've got the starboard here, it's muddy as you can imagine. Um, I suppose it is autumn time now. I've got to try and get the board out without getting too muddy, get my gear on, get down to the beach. If you haven't got to do that, just sit there, get a cup of tea, and we'll see what this is all about and see where we're going to go to. Here we are, folks, down on Warnell Beach. You see, Mothercombe is just kind of over there, really. Just tucked in around. Or is it up around the next one? Might be the next one, actually, around there. So I'm just up a little bit now. What to do? It looks to be about half a foot of water and then it's racing out. So I could go in and just try and go upstream and just have it as a workout and just see how far I can get. I don't think I'll get very far though. That's a real racing little current there. Tide actually was high probably about two hours ago. So, oh sorry, low, a good couple of hours ago. Um, See, a bit of local knowledge. I haven't got local knowledge of this, have I? All I know here is that bloody dog's making hell of a racket. That's the only thing I know. And everyone's got to hear it. Other than that, I've got no local knowledge. A couple of surfers out in the distance, but I'd have thought Bantham would be the better option. Let me show on the map where I am, anyway. Um, plan is to head up that way. Um... As you can see, racing current, we'll see what happens. I'll probably go a little way and turn around. If I can get through with a nine inch fin on the bottom, it's it pretty shallow out there. So, not ideal, but I've got a paddle board and I've got some water. And the tide will change at some stage. I'm guessing it races through here then. It'll get to a point where it'll suddenly start chucking it in. So, um, we shall see if I might end up heading down river. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Get out on the water, I suppose. It's hard to shed a tear. Brought it on yourself, my dear. And wrong, yes, I may be.
So what's it like then folks? What's it been like? You can probably see from the video clip that I just posted that let's put this paddle in the water and hold my ground here. Um that it's it wasn't ideal down there, it's too shallow, the water was racing too fast, it would take a long time for that tide to come in. Um, you can probably see an egret behind me there. Lots of bird wildlife up here, you can see lots of wildlife full stop. Sad to see a dead dolphin or porpoise or something, probably a dolphin back on the beach there. Um, but plenty of life up here, there were loads of ducks, there's, like I say, egrets, swans, let's turn the camera around. And then as you look up there, like I say, there's an expanse that would be the estuary um, when the tide comes in. So of course there's going to be lots of shallow areas in here if you ever come paddleboard in here. Well, now I've got to just go back around this little headland bit here and then follow that channel up. So there's going to be a bit of a race of water to paddle through, all good for training and improving technique. That's what I want to do. Um, I went in the Sup the Creek the other day and in that Sup the Creek race, I there were just so many good paddlers out there and they're all a lot faster and fitter than I am. And I know a lot of the speed comes down to the fitness. Um, the board makes a difference and the 14 foot boards are quicker typically, but there's still that um, the fact of the matter is if someone's faster than you, don't matter what board they're on, if they're faster than you, they're faster than you. But there was some lot of good technique on the paddles out there. Um, so I'm trying to always refine that. Um, and I think that's where I'm going to get the most gains out of my speed because fitness comes and goes. Um, so technique, um, thought, thought saved me a bit of time in the race the other day by going up by the trees out of the wind. Now it's dead still here, no breeze, nothing. Um, so today the thought is more focused on where the slower moving water would be looking out for hazards under the water because i've got a big fin on the back of this paddle board so i don't want that to snag on on anything any rocks and stuff like that a couple of oyster catchers have just gone past as well um i'm gonna head on up there's a house in the distance right up there i'm gonna head up to that house go on a fairway and see if i can find a beachy point somewhere to sit down but we've got a long way to go first and I've got this fast water section to deal with right at the start. On we go. Finding a beach up here is a bit more tricky than I thought. It's mainly muddy sort of stuff like in around here. A bit of sand, but a bit of mud as well. Just looking back down the river, there's um, three adult mute swans there. Three younger swans, probably you know, cygnets. Just along this, just along this edge here a minute ago, I heard a, a high pitch squeak. Yeah. You know what I'm talking. You know exactly what I'm talking there, folks. Kingfisher. That isn't, that's the oyster catcher. Can you just imagine being anywhere nicer? Let me zoom right in and show you a few things then. If you can see that or not. Here's a house I was aiming for. Egret down there in the middle of the screen about now. And then further on up here. Goes on a long, long way. Trouble I've got is the the, the current, the tide is coming down quick and now you can see that. It's really shad, shallow just in underneath the board at the moment. So you're kind of picking your way through. Do I go this way or do I go that way? But, good calling then, I was a bit unsure when I got in, I will admit, it's so shallow back there, so shallow. I was thinking I needed a, a kind of flexible river fin or something, and you lose your stability. Should have gone somewhere else is the other thought, you know, maybe gone in a big breathe, the, the water's deeper there um, on the river Avon. This is of course the river Erm. Um, 
downstream from Ermington. Got its name because somebody once said, what's the name of the um, that river? And they said that. Um, and before they could say anything, that was it. They wrote it down. It's the Erm, mate. The River Um is um, a bit further downstream by Newton Ferrers and the um, and the River Waddy Court is a few miles that way as well, but this is the River Erm. So it's the nicest of those three those three rivers I would I would argue. On we go. Swan racing by there. I'm uh, sat on the boat with my Nature Valley sweet and salty nuts. Some of you knew that. And my drink of beverage as per normal. So I don't want to go and sit on the mud. And I can't find any sand. Cormorant goes overhead now, heading down the river, um, down to the sea, find his lunch. Luncheon, possibly, you know, no, it's a very gentrified area now, the South Ham's, isn't it? Probably been luncheon, I would have thought. Um, get out if you can, folks, it's autumn, this winter. But it's been a swine, hasn't it? Trying to find a still day. All through this year, it just hasn't been still. Let's zoom right out and see the whole view then. It hasn't been still, has it? All or summer, or spring, summer, autumn. 40 mile an hour winds, you know, last week. 20 mile an hour yesterday. Nothing today. Chance. Total chance. I think I'm going to try and head upstream a little bit, folks, rather than just sit here and natter on. If you're still with me now, thanks very much. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, share a moment with me on the water here, and it reminds you of how good it is to get out um, when you do next, it might be this autumn or winter, it might be in the spring or even next summer. But it'll be around before you can blink and you'll be out on that water again. And I'm looking forward to see what happens with this tide when it comes through. Will it come through as a little, um, you know, bore wave or something? And when that tide finally has the force and the momentum and the, um, and the water pressure behind it to push up through, I don't know. There are bores other than just the seven. There's one on the Parrot, you know, up in Bridgewater. So there might be one here, you don't know. No one ever mentions it, no one really knows. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? How beautiful is that? Youngsters grumbling, are we there yet? Mum or Dad out on point. Looks going like crazy under the water. So graceful on the surface. That's me. Yeah, I know you all think I'm graceful. Don't come without hard work. I pedal like a madman. That's when I'm driving a car. Right. Let's listen out for that kingfisher again. Here we are, folks. About as far as I can go. You can probably see there, very, very shallow under the water here. Um up to some houses here that's the house I was looking at earlier downstream and I've gone past a turn in I might be able to show you on the map exactly how far I've got but out of luck today because of the tides um, another day undoubtedly it will work because of the tides and now my boat just wants to turn around and I'm going to be going with the flow what they say sometimes you've got to go with the flow sometimes you've got to get out of the flow well, a minute ago I was trying to get out of the flow on the way up, and now I'll be going with the flow on the way down. I'm just turning around gently here. Um, let's flip the camera around. You have a real good bird's eye view of what I can see. So, let's zoom it right out. You can see this now. How glorious is this, folks? So, thankfully I haven't got great skills. Don't worry, I haven't got great skills on the paddleboard. I've just got a really stable paddleboard. Um, but what I have got is a waterproof case with a waterproof camera phone inside that. So all is good. Um, there's a lot of spider webs going down today. Little tiny spiders on them with threads of silk, taking them to where they were, wherever they're going, I suppose. They they go with the flow. They obviously pick, pick the time to go. And that's what they're doing. Got all the different colors in the autumn trees now. 
And I haven't done quite as many videos of these unusual places as I should have. And I think this is going to reignite that desire to get back out and go to some different places. So I haven't been here paddleboarding before. I haven't been here for 25 years. I've never been to this spot where I am right now before. But I'll be back. Maybe I'll bring somebody along with me. Maybe some some of you can join me up here when I come and do it the next time. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Get up early doors so we can get parked down the little old chuchy lane. A bit of a... Over here, look. You might be able to see this. There's a log under the water there. And um, if you were coming downstream on your paddle board and snag that one with your fin, you'd go... The board would stop and you'd go straight on over the front. So... You know, I can see a lot. The water's clear. The water's very clear here at the moment. For a river where there's been a lot of rainfall recently, it's very clear. So, on we go. It's quite beautiful. In a minute, I'm going to I'm going to keep recording when I get down here by this bit of woodland. That's where I was moored up a minute ago. And just see if I can quietly, no paddle, just let the flow take me, get some footage of a kingfisher. It won't happen, will it? I never achieve anything that I say I'm going to achieve, but you never know. They talk about glassy conditions on the water. It's something that's new when you paddleboard compared to... Look at it, you can see there's no movement, there's no ripple at all. It's something that's new when you paddleboard compared to when you say surf and stuff like that. You really do look for absolute clean, still conditions. I'd imagine rowers also think the same. There goes our oyster catchers heading out. Heading down to this um, zone now where we might... I might find that kingfisher. Big old job finding a kingfisher. Filming one with a camera phone, I think, is um, kind of nigh on impossible, I'd have thought. Or very low risk. Low risk, high tariff. That's what the divers say, isn't it? High tariff. Listen for that shrill. Folks, the tide is coming in. The tide is coming in now. Do you believe it? Fifty yards back, it was going out, and now it's coming in. All of a sudden, you've got within a hundred meters tide going out or tide coming in. So now I've got to paddle hard to get back to the car. Wow! Can you believe this? Safely back on terra firma. Um, the tide is now coming in, and it's quite interesting. This how no tide, then loads of tide. 
now let me just show you what it looks like out there now it's really good fun for maybe doing a little bit of paddleboard um, surfing almost in these unbroken waves let me show you how glorious is this so you've got these little waves coming in not quite breaking but I think on the paddleboard on a fast paddleboard you catch those you can have a great bit of fun there So there you go folks, um, Erm Estuary. Didn't go as far as I thought I would have, but was out there and had a really, really good time. So I recommend coming down. Probably best to come on, um, come here perhaps an hour before high tide perhaps. But anyway, there you go. Get on the water if you can folks. Catch you guys on the paddle boarding, schmaddle boarding, flip side. Couldn't have said it better myself.